Greetings, this is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Our talk today focuses on the 2170 battery and the fact that this week there was some new news. And the news that came out suggests that the cost for Tesla on the 2170 is approximately $8,450 a piece. So we're going to focus on three implications of this price point for that battery. Bonjour, we get to stay snoke MOS 5 and Strasvice Nihama. Buongiorno. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Um, I read some news in Barron's Magazine where there's an analyst on Wall Street who put a price tag uh, in terms of basic cost for the. There, there's a basic cost price point placed upon the 2170 of 8000 Four hundred and fifty bucks uh, for the battery pack that goes in the, the Model Three. Now, once I heard this, there are a bunch of thoughts that came to mind. Today, I've decided to cover three, but there'll be a whole bunch more, and I'm looking forward to your comments. The biggest thought that came to mind, and this news has been out for four or five days, and I was hoping somebody else would cover it because I was so disappointed after hearing it is that um, basically the, the cost to Tesla of the 7,000, um, uh, 7, 18650s that was going into the, let's say the Model S was $35,000. So now with the Model 3, they're look, you're looking at 8,450 bucks. Now my forecast on this had been approximately $10,000. So when you look at a 25% markup on the battery, that's about where things are. But I have to say that um, this is a nightmare. The reason it's a, a nightmare, and th there are three different zones I want to look at. The first is why it's a complete nightmare. The reason it's a complete nightmare is that there are a number of uh, companies that are ICE companies like GM and Ford, etc with whom there are a lot of jobs attached to in the United States. And with Tesla dropping into the $8,000 range, uh, they're playing on 5% improvement in all form factors uh, each of the next two years. So if we ballpark it on a 10% drop in the price, this thing is gonna get down towards $7,000 and the cost basis for the engine of an ICE vehicle is somewhere around 5K. So what this is saying is that um, you can now, within two years, be able to get an electric vehicle whose cost basis is the equivalent, basically the equivalent of, a, um, of an ICE engine. And I believe that places like GM and Ford particularly because they don't have their own battery plant, are looking at three to five, maybe even seven years before they actually catch up. So I believe that this puts a real crimp in the potential long-term future of these companies uh, because of how seriously they've responded to the Tesla threat. So I've been kind of depressed because um, I just see that 2170 for ICE companies, at least in the United States, uh, that are handling their business, they're in what I call complete disaster zone, but they don't realize it. The equivalent I can think about is um, in Rome, they were still having debates in the parliament while the Germanic, um, uh, you know, I guess the Huns or the Germanic uh, entities were laying siege and attacking the city. So on one hand, they think they can still have debates sitting in the boardroom, and on the other hand, they're about to get killed. And so I'm sort of shocked because I was hopeful that Tesla would slowly develop what they were doing enough to give time to some of the manufacturers to catch up. Um, my other hope was that there wouldn't be all the amazing numbers that are coming off the 21, uh, 2170 battery uh, you know, to make it such a mind-blowing piece of equipment. Um, 
there is a uh, there's an amazing digit that's lurking out there which is my gosh can you imagine i mean this isn't part of my three items but there's a nightmare car that someone's going to be building in the next and it probably will be tesla within the next two years there's an insane vehicle that's going to come out and what that is is somebody is going to take that 2170 battery um, that weighs half the weight of the of the battery pack for the model s the model s with the heavy battery pack is rolling in at 4300 pounds for the performance edition and so if you took a model s and dropped the 2170 battery in there in theory that car which goes under like a 2.4 second um, zero to 60 you could have a vehicle theoretically that drops below two seconds on zero to 60 time pretty much making it the equivalent of riding a rocket um, that takes payloads into orbit um, i mean we all know that in southern california and stuttgart you guys have some really good engineers that can pull this off so hold a second don't do it for another three years or so so that uh you know some folks like ferrari and porsche can cop a clue because once you deliver that car it's pretty much lights out for a whole bunch of manufacturers at the high end and even at the low end so um any rate i'm kind of disappointed about the 2170 because it's a terrific news issue for tesla a horrible horrible news issue for all of the ice manufacturers around the world. Um, so continuing, I just want to point out that, you know, I think there are two other things to consider here about this battery. Uh, number two is that, yes, it's ready to rumble in terms of being a huge addition to the semi-truck solution, number one. And number two, um, I'd have to say that, um, yeah, the, the initial stuff I just described is too mind-boggling for words, but I would say that, you know, the Model 3 customer is going to be really happy because when you have a car that's only 3,700 pounds and it's an electric, um, it may have some shortcomings in terms of creature comforts compared to the Model S, but with all the other Tesla features of superchargerability, um, you know, the, the, the Tesla relationship with electric and a clean solution, I think that uh, the 2170 portends a bright future for Tesla. And I believe that um, if Tesla figures out how to build a lot of these batteries, they're going to end up putting half of the ice manufacturers in the world out of business uh, because they can't respond. You know, my third point on this whole thing was the fact that, you know, this is a complete disaster because if Tesla's cost basis for their battery pack is, is $8,500, General Motors sells a $37,000 bolt at a $9,000 loss. So what we're facing here is it's possible that Tesla could come out with a $35,000 car that they're making 10 grand on each car and their competitors are losing 9,000 on every car produced at the same time. So you can see why I think that, congratulations to Tesla for getting this done. It's an awesome uh, engineering completion solution. It definitely puts them five years ahead of all the competition. But I also think that uh, this news uh, places a whole bunch of companies in jeopardy for their futures and all the jobs that are attached. So all I can say is, if you work for an ice manufacturer, as an in internal combustion engine manufacturer, and I think Mercedes is the only one that I think is adequately making the run to do a good job. Um, I've heard things from some of the Japanese and, and, and Korean entities, but if you're an employee or a relative of somebody that works for an ice manufacturer and they don't have a, a solid solution that's gonna happen in electric, um, I would encourage you to encourage them to think about another job, another place to work, because um, there are a number of companies that are in deep trouble that will soon be no longer in business. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. I want to thank you for taking time out 
please like. We could use your support on Patreon. I'm particularly looking forward to comments from some of my well-educated engineers about what my conclusions look like. But I, I just don't see any hope for anybody else um, unless solid state or some other format can get it done. Uh, the 2170 is a beast um, that's set to pretty much wreck the lives of millions of current auto workers within the industry. Thanks for your time once again and look forward to our next conversation.